Mission sequence start. And one, all set for me. So what went wrong? Elon Musk's SpaceX Starship is the most powerful rocket ever built, and recently it was launched for the second time, going further than it had ever gone, but in an instant it was lost, leaving many questioning why, and many with considerable stake in the success of Starship patiently waiting for its anticipated flight. But to first understand why it failed, we must go back to a balmy Texan evening on September 28th, 2019. In the heart of the Lone Star State, you found yourself standing amidst the crowd, all eyes fixed on the stage where the man of the hour was about to make waves. Who was that man? None other than Elon Musk, the visionary behind SpaceX. In his hands, he held the key to the future, Starship MK1. This magnificent machine, standing an imposing 50 meters tall, was a spectacle to behold. Crafted from gleaming plates of stainless steel, it seemed to shimmer in the fading sunlight, capturing the imagination of everyone present. Mr. Musk hopes, one day, to use its successors to ferry passengers to the moon or to Mars, or perhaps even, according to one piece of SpaceX concept art all the way to Saturn. What started off as an idea towards spacefaring civilization became one step closer to reality on April 20th, 2023, when SpaceX had their first ever launch attempt that unfortunately ended in an explosion due to rapid unscheduled disassembly. The scene unfolds at the Starbase facility nestled along the sun-kissed shores of Boca Chica Beach, right here on the vibrant Gulf Coast of South Texas. The clock ticks to 9.33 a.m. and the air is charged with anticipation. And then, in a moment that can only be described as spectacular and surreal, the colossal 394-foot tall starship, a towering behemoth and the most powerful rocket ever crafted, springs to life. A symphony of 33 first-stage Raptor engines ignites casting the entire launch mount into a frenzied dance of flames. The starship begins its ascent, defying its own massive proportions as if challenging the laws of physics. As it climbs higher and higher, the morning sun in Texas bathes its sleek, stainless steel body in a dazzling glow. The rocket becomes a shining beacon against the backdrop of the Gulf Coast sky, reflecting the promise of boundless exploration. It's not just a launch. It's a defiance of gravity, a testament to human ingenuity reaching for the heavens. In that moment, the air itself seems to vibrate with the energy of progress. The Starbase facility transforms into a theater of dreams where the impossible becomes reality. The Texas morning witnesses the birth of a new era in space exploration, and the beholder can't help but be captivated by the sheer audacity of this technological marvel rising against the canvas of the Lone Star State. The 165-foot tall Starship upper stage was supposed to separate from the super heavy first stage about three minutes after liftoff, but that never happened. The two vehicles remained connected and the stack began to tumble, ultimately exploding or experiencing a rapid, unscheduled disassembly, as SpaceX terms it, just under four minutes after launch. This destruction was intentional, ordered after Starship experienced those problems. One step closer to Mars colonization, their very purpose Elon Musk supposedly founded SpaceX in 2002 for came to an abrupt halt. Elon firmly believes that Starship is the vehicle that will allow us to colonize Mars. Why do you want to colonize Mars? I, th I think there's two reasons. Um, one is kind of a defensive reason that like if something bad were to happen to Earth, uh, then um, you know, it could be like a meteor, or like whatever destroyed the dinosaurs, super volcanoes. But many won't believe it until it is launched successfully. Which brings us to today on November 18th, 2023. Starship was launched for the second time, only to end in another disappointment for onlookers. Although further than the last, with the rocket reaching the edge of space, but blowing up soon after. However, industry experts say it's still a step forward to Elon's vision of landing humans on Mars by the end of this decade. The rocket blasted off smoothly, without hurtling chunks of debris from the launch pad, as had happened during the April launch. SpaceX listed several other technical milestones in an update posted today on the company's website, among them that all 33 Raptor engines worked, 
at least six hadn't worked properly during the April tessellate. Starship then successfully separated from the super heavy booster, again an improvement over April, when the stack failed to separate and began to tumble. This was the first time this technique had been done successfully with a vehicle of this size. But this time, after stage separation, the booster detonated over the Gulf of Mexico rather than making a controlled landing. Then, near the end of the second stage burn, before the engine cut off, an unknown issue triggered the Starship spacecraft's automated termination system, exploding it. SpaceX Mission Control announced that it had lost contact with the rocket. Still, even that was an advance. During the April flight, there was a delay between the termination system's activation and the actual explosion. This time, the self-destruct system worked correctly. According to the company's post, the vehicle reached an altitude of about 150 kilometers, becoming the first starship to reach outer space and nearly completing its full duration burn. The anomaly resulted in a loss of the vehicle. No injuries or public property damage had been reported. The FAA will oversee the SpaceX-led mishap in investigation to ensure SpaceX complies with its FAA-approved mishap investigation plan and other regulatory requirements, a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. Common jargon for rocket engineers, however, the real reason is still unknown to engineers. They will now have to decipher what went wrong on both the booster and the upper stage spacecraft. An unknown issue triggered the Starship spacecraft's automated termination system, exploding it. SpaceX Mission Control announced it had lost contact with the rocket. The company at the time of creating this video did not address what caused the rocket to self-destruct or what caused the lost signal, leaving many questions unturned and many anticipating the next launch, which Elon says could be as early as the next four to five weeks, but the company would need another launching license for that. So what's next for the Starship? With key deadlines on the horizon, in, specifically NASA's Artemis 3 program slated for 2025, hoping to land US astronauts on the moon for the first time in five decades. NASA is worried the Starship won't be ready in time. With yet another failed launch from Starship, many are left questioning. When will SpaceX launch Starship to the moon? When will SpaceX launch for Mars? Questions that we can only wait on, patiently hoping that the next launch will bring us one step closer to Elon's vision.